It's the following morning and the girls have been called to East London. We just walked down this road. We had no idea what was going on. We thought we might be seeing our model house. Gorgeous up. Love that. The doors slammed open and there's Abby Clancy being photographed by Nicky Johnson and we were just like... Wait! Gorgeous. Nice. Lovely. Abby Clancy is absolutely beautiful. She's so glam. She's so, like, fierce. She was a hundred times more amazing than I actually imagined her to be. Hi, girls! Today's your first photo shoot, and we're producing the most iconic image of the series, the group promo shot. Now, this is going to be shown at the end of every elimination, and when you're no longer in the competition, your image will disappear in a puff of smoke. <laughs> so it's time to shine, and it's time to prove you've got what it takes to be the last model standing. And girls, this is the first time we're going to see what you can bring to set in terms of charisma and creativity. Let's get you into hair and makeup. The first thing I was thinking of was, oh my gosh, Abby's smile is taking my breath away. <laughs> Honestly, it's so... Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's what Abby can see. I just went like, she's just like, she's a girl crush. I just, thought she was pretty, like, in magazines and on camera. Yeah. And she's got even prettier over there. It's not just the fact that she's pretty, she's magnificent. Yeah. Because she's... She's like a power because woman. Because she's... Exactly. A super woman. She is. I can't even talk about being photographing Nicky. I'm so nervous. He's just like, he's a world-class photographer. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit of pressure. I can feel my like legs shaking a little. So <laughs> I'm a bit worried. I'm nervous, but I just can't wait to go out there and just like get stuck into it. I'm more like excited because it's something I've been yeah. doing for years. And Abby and Nikki are going to be there. It's yeah. two of them. Because it's also fun and exciting. It's hard to keep in mind that it is a competition. Yeah, you as have well. to like try and focus as well, don't you? Yeah. But it's hard because it feels like so nice, and you're like talking to everyone, and you're like, oh, sorry, I'm just bit like. Destroy you. Destroy you now. <laughs> <laughs> Take you out. Let it begin. Bring it on. <laughs> All my poses I had in my head have just gone from my head because I'm so nervous. <laughs> Maybe don't faint or something stupid. Don't faint. <laughs> At Fash Fest, I did feel like I was one of the shorter girls. And like, obviously, in the fashion industry, all the models are tall in real life. So it is a bit of a concern of mine, like whether it will affect my place in the competition or not. Hey, Abby. Hi. Nice oh. name. <laughs> you look gorgeous. You look well, um, you're going to be on you in this fair shoot yeah. and everything, but you'll be great. It's only us. Yeah. It's only us. Only us. <laughs> only us. Yeah. So she could tell I was really nervous because I was quite shaky and stuff. She was like, oh, don't be nervous. It's only me. And I was like, oh, it's only you. <laughs> you look incredible. Stunning. Fabulous. Nice. Good. He's a gorge. Nice. Good, Abby. Face round to me on all of these. Yeah. Got it. Sexy babe. Well done, you! Well, that was a surprise. I thought that was going to be hell. Considering you come out looking like you're about to pass out. I know! Out, you look... And suddenly she just kicked into it. And that's good. She was so nice and she kept giving me really nice compliments and stuff. So it, was, it made me feel a lot better. I was just expecting it to absolutely crumble. She had nothing to worry about. She looks absolutely gorgeous, totally in a comfort zone in her pictures. She's got a simple beauty about her, hasn't Look at she? Her face there. And gorgeous mouth. Nice, Tallulah. Good. Less pouty. Little head turn. Less Good. sex mouth. Mm. Sex mouth. I, I see what they mean when they say sex mouth. That's better. Nice. Relax your mouth a little bit, just to <laughs> blow it out. Keep bending the body a bit more, Victoria. Keep moving. I don't want the same shot twice. I think more straight on, more maybe more the shape that way. Even bend that right leg a bit more. That's yeah, it. Really? Yes. Keep changing. Chin down. Well done. Well done, Diane. Thank you very much. It's a fair shoot, you know, we've got to give her that. But I, I, I was expecting more from her. There's only a couple of shots in there that will work for me. Oh, that's nice. Nice. That's gorgeous, that Lovely. one. Lovely. I love the simplicity of, of the poses, and it just looks so striking. 
I think it went well, actually. I'm quite buzzed. I'm sad it's over. I wouldn't do it again. I've actually got goosebumps about oh, her. She's fabulous. She's just fabulous. Coming up, the girls explore their new home. <laughs> and one girl shares her secret. I am transgender. The girls are midway through their first photo shoot with the judges Nikki Johnston and Abby Clancy. Stretch that body taller, but not don't arch. Looks a little bit too forced. The poses. To start with the shoot. Um, I didn't do so well because. I was really blank-minded. I didn't really know what to think, how to feel, how to structure my body uh, towards the camera. You can even smile to the poly board and then come back and just lose it. It just mm -hmm. changes the face because it's a bit like this. Mm -hmm. It's like my eye cream. You know, when that goes on, it freezes my eyes. That's what your face looks like. Better. That's nice. Yeah, it's just look more energy. Yes. Instantly. Yeah, that's good. See, that's great, Anastasia. It's, yeah, it's come to life now. These are so much better. She's a little bit awkward, but she's going to be. She's not done it before, so she's bound to be a bit awkward until she's she's learnt more and she's seen more shoots and been involved it's more. a bit mumsy. Lovely. Let it fall over your face a little bit as well. That's nice. That's cute. That's lovely. Thank you very much, Chloe. Thank you. Really nice. We'll see you soon. Really gorgeous. Well done. I give it my best shot, and I think I did well. Oh, hopefully, we'll see. Lovely. Change the shade. Good. Keep that chin down, Jen. You are going a bit higher with it. See, it's so much stronger when you bring it down. Lovely. Ooh, nice, Lana. Victoria's Secret. Hello. Hello. Nice. And do a straight on for me, and then we've got it. Paul, there's a lump sticking out the side of her head. This side. What the hell is that? What about that? That's better. That's a nice look. That's so much better. Lovely. That's gorgeous. That's great. That was a good shoot, I guess. Well, I hope so, anyway. That's fabulous. Just really simple, and that's gorge. When they told us that we were having our um, promo shots done with Nikki, I was really, really excited because I knew from the flash vest I had to pull something out of the bag in order to not be eliminated. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely. Gorgeous. Got it. Well, she happy birthday, birthday as well. Now, doing Best a good birthday job. ever. <laughs> oh, got that amazing side. eyes. Nice. That side on's lovely. Do the side on again with the hand up because that could work. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, keep that chin up a smidge because it looks like you want to kill me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> to do the e Hey! Wow, you look you incredible. Look Amazing. For the first time in the whole of Britain's Next Top Model, you've actually had a transgender woman on the show. And for me, I'm honoured to be that woman that's been able to bring it to the limelight. Have you told you the girls your story? I've not said anything yet, because I don't want to have, like, that define me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. So I don't want to make a massive thing about it, because that's not all I'm about. Mm -hmm. So just when, like, the time's ready, I'm going to yeah. tell them. Yeah. I'm with. I'm lucky to have you, and I can't wait to First see what you... ever of Can't wait middle. to see what you've got to show us. Let's get in the scene. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do this. Nice. Try that side on without the dramatic bends. So just do a, yeah. Yeah, lovely. I feel like I'm looking at the buns instead of. Well, let's lose them then. Abby didn't like face buns. She said it was too much of a distraction for my pretty face. So we got rid of the T buns and just had this hair. That is so much better. Okay. Softer. Straight on to Lula. Yes. And do your profile side it's on. It's very please. sexy. Do a stronger, just straight on, less sexy. We don't want to go too glamour. We've got that. I just want to see a more natural. See, look, that. She looks stunning, stunning there. Absolutely the lips, beautiful. You're right about the horns. Cheekbones. The hair's jaw. lovely. Well done, girls. You've survived your first photo shoot. And now it's time to make this relationship official. Here is the key to the Britain's Next Top Model apartment! <laughs> Abby and Nikki gave us the keys to the apartment and we went crazy. Well done, girls. You've all been amazing today. Yeah, well done, girls. Fabulous. Enjoy your house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, my God, I'm so excited. I can't wait. What do you reckon our house is going to be like? Lovely. Glamorous. Yeah. It was like insane. We was all just running around screaming. Everyone was like literally so excited. It was crazy. Oh my gosh. Hello. Birthday girl. Oh. It is the most amazing place I've ever seen. You've got luminous pink walls. You've got bright colours everywhere. All the girls are just so excited. And then everyone saw the names like on the bedroom. So then everyone was like, Oh, so we've got those rooms already, like, pre-done. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I get on really well with the ladder, so that is literally, like, the best, like, match for me. You were really saying that? Yeah, yeah. 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 I think some people are disappointed that they can stay with some people. Oh my gosh! I was happy to be sharing a room with Anna. I think there was probably some other girls that I'd have been happier sharing a room with, but she's a lovely girl. I haven't got to know her very well as of yet. <laughs> And then there's four girls in one room. This is so cute. Who wants a top yeah. I don't really mind either way. They had like two double beds on top of each other. It's a really small room. So I don't think there was that pleased. I don't think I want to get much sleep. But it was pretty exciting. Everybody was hyped anyway. Oh my god, look at all the goldies. Oh, 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 oh. It's just incredible. Like, I'm just. So overwhelmed by it. So congratulations on us all getting here. <laughs> and a toast and cheers to an amazing series. <laughs> Coming up, the girls see their photos for the first time. I could tell that they weren't amazed by my image. And we'll face the judges. It's a bit so what? I think that sums it up. Oh, you've really got to go around the eyes. <laughs> I was put in a room with Anastasia and she was like running around putting lipstick on her face with Tallulah and they were like crazy and I was like, oh my god, she's going to keep me awake all night, I'm going to cry, I'm going to get no sleep. I was like, oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Do I like my little red nose? I look like the red nose. Reindeer. Ooh. I really feel like I can get along with Tallulah because I can just see a lot of myself in her. And it's lovely. I mean, little children playing around with makeup. <laughs> you guys have actually loved okay. it. I want to be here like five minutes. It felt really free, I'll be honest with you. What do you think of the hula hoops? Oh, I love hula hoops. But I really like the way that it is. I like this. We've explored our products. We've explored our products. We have um, all the sleek makeup and yeah. so we put it all over our faces. They're just bouncing off the walls everywhere, going crazy. Are you okay? I'm a bit stressed. <laughs> I reckon um, Tallulah will just be up all night as well. To show I mean, she's so excited, isn't she? And I'm showing her bed with her. She's going to be like buzzing, she's going to be jumping about. And I just, just want to sleep. I'm so tired. You can rub people off the wrong way. This is such a good space for it. It would make a really, really good art studio. I don't want to annoy anyone, I don't want to ruin anyone's day like by like being a bit hyper. I just want to spread as much positivity in the house as possible. I just want to sleep at the minute and everything's irritating me and one of them just moves, make girls like just really. No one said to my face that they don't like my hyperness, but I don't think I'm even that hyper. I'm sure it's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Never in my life met girls quite like it before. I don't know if they're playing off the cameras or what they're doing, but I just want to tell them to just, like, chill out, like we've only just met. You know, a lot has happened in the past few hours, and I felt like, um, 
tonight was the right time to address my story to the other girls. Okay, so I just wanted to um, call a group meeting tonight just because I wanted to kind of like get things off my chest. I just kind of wanted to let you know that I am transgender and um, so for like the past three years I've been transitioning to become the woman that I am now. I think that that makes you more of a woman than anyone. The fact that you've been so brave and done that. I don't want it to like define me, do you know what I mean? It doesn't. It doesn't doesn't define me. So that's why like the past couple of days it has been really nice for me because I've just felt like a normal woman. You are. I haven't got that like label of being the trans woman, do you know what I mean? And I've just felt like one of the girls. You are. You are. It was such a big moment for me to kind of out myself again um, to a group of people and actually for once be accepted, it was actually quite nice. You're such an inspiration. Yeah. You really are. And thanks so much for telling. Thank you. But by the way, I know you are a normal woman, but there is nothing normal about you because you're extraordinary. (laughs) (laughs) I've got so much more love and respect for those girls now because of how they responded to my my me telling them. Guys, we have model mail. We were all chilling and then we got the model mail. Hi girls, your journey to becoming a top model has only just begun, but is the end already in sight for one of you? I it's elimination. You. It's elimination. It's elimination. elimination. We were all kind of like, woo, and then, oh no. I think now you start to doubt if like you did like well. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't be able to sleep if I think about it too much. None of us are going to sleep now. I started to second guess because I was like, oh, I did so well. No, yeah. I did so well. <laughs> oh, this is so oh. intense, guys. Oh, I'm quite worried about it because of what happened at Fash Fest. Um, but I think my shoot today went really well, but it's just worrying me a lot. And I don't want to go home. It's stressful because it's the first one, but I feel like I have more to go. The competition is just so, like, this. I just don't know who would actually be eliminated. I hope that's not me. I don't want it to be. Oh, you don't <laughs> want it to be me. I don't want this to be over. Yeah. Really don't want this to be over for me because you now I'm really enjoying it and um, it's only just begun and I just feel like there's so much more. There's just so much more that I could mm. learn and do and experience. It's Elimination Day, and the final 12 girls will face the judges, Abby, Paul, Hilary, and Nikki, for the very first time. Guys, come and see those. Before they do, a chance to see the photos that conceal their fate. When we received that model mail and we got to see all our pictures, um, all the girls were reacting to each other's pictures. Lana, she was the winner and the last challenge, she got quite a big cheer. So did Tulu Leave. Oh, oh. <laughs> I really like that. All the girls were nervous because some people didn't cheer as much on other girls' photos. Deep down, I could tell that they weren't amazed by my image, which was okay because I wasn't either. I'm really disappointed in my picture, to be honest. Hi. Like, I just don't like it. It The face looks strong. Well, I could tell by your reactions as well that it wasn't good. I didn't feel that my um, posture was strong. I didn't feel like my face was very strong. It didn't feel enticing, in my opinion. Does it make you nervous for later on? Yeah, definitely. Hey guys, so good to be back. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I can't fantastic. believe it, Rodney. 
<laughs> Neither can I. Neither can I. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's even better is we've got such an amazing, strong group of girls, and I, I just, I'm so excited. This year is fantastic. It is. It's so diverse, and I can't wait to see what each one brings to the table. Guys, I know you were mentoring the girls at Fash Fest. How did they do? It was brilliant, wasn't it? Oh, it was great fun. It was nice because we met them straight away. Yeah. And we threw them straight in the deep end. And obviously, Fast Fest, as you know, is huge. Yeah. So there's a lot of pressure on them. But some of them shone. Yeah. And I can't wait to yeah. see <laughs> it. I heard there was an incident. Let's take a look at it first. They were supposed to stay there for the finale with the professional models. And two of them started to talk and went, shall we go? Yeah. So half of them left. Did they know they had to stay? Yes, yes they've done they've two rehearsals. They've practiced all day. Oh, well, that's appalling. It really was a shambles. I'm really scared for elimination, and I really do feel the weight of the burden of it not going right. I really do, and I'm, I'm, I'm really sad about it. I really don't want to go home myself. I'm not ready yet. I'm only just getting started. Next up, Tallulah. I... Don't like it. I don't think it's convincing at oh, all. I do. I do. She had a fantastic personality. She's got the most incredible hair, a skin. She's got these big, full, sexy lips. And she's such fun. You just want to spend, I don't want to drink gin with her all night long. Yeah. You know, yeah. she's an adorable girl. It's nice to hear because she's not portrayed in that picture. No. Let's have a look at Abby in action. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was confident with my picture until I saw it on the model mail. Oh, that's that's nice. really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So so yeah. When she walked onto set, she made me nervous because she had this terrified look in her she eyes and I'm thinking, this is going to be hell. Oh, uh, really? I mean, I've done so well to get here and I just, I don't want to be the first one to go home. I'll just be really disappointed. But she stood in front of that camera and as soon as I started clicking, mm. she was amazing. And she was like a real 70s babe, the porcelain skin, that sort of bardo-y hair. Quite subtly sexy. I really yes. Like Excellent. Should we take a look at Alana? Fab. Oh, wow. She's got long limbs. She's got a great shape. I love her eyes. When we seen the photos before elimination, there was a few people that were happy. Then there was a few people that were a bit worried. But I was quite happy with mine. She was absolutely fabulous to shoot. Yeah. I mean, she was a dream, wasn't she? She loved in every single frame. Fantastic. I was mind blown. She yeah. was fantastic. We both were. We loved her. She's exciting. I'm excited yeah. about her. Great body, definitely. Next up is Eleanor. She's very feminine. I quite like it, actually. Oh, I don't know. It's not like a super Victoria's Secret shoe, but it's very dainty. And... I think she'd be a good commercial lingerie model catalog, yeah. but a body was to die for. She had this really? fabulous hair. She's got a great shape. She's got a good look, but somehow she couldn't put them all together. No. You might enjoy watching this one. I mean... What so is that? <laughs> I must say, though, on the catwalk on Fast Fest itself, she literally leveled herself out. Yeah. And she did... Thank the Lord. Okay, judges, next up we have Jennifer. Is that a great, cool, really right, 70s yeah. show? Isn't it fab? We loved her. I love it. I think she's Fantastic. great. And, and I loved her energy. She yeah. was confident, but she was calm. She wasn't sassy or loud. Fabulous girl. Yeah. Let's have a look at Anastasia. Hills. Leaves me cold. We did so struggle. It was a bit bodybuilder -ish. Yes. Kind it... of like a masculine pose somehow. Well, you should have seen some of the poses. <laughs> really? We really struggled to get... went from this... <laughs> It's hair over. <laughs> Seriously. I know I've got a lot to offer though, like, I know I can do it. You have. I'm just disappointed in myself. I don't know, I was, I was expecting yeah. more from it and it was just very mumsy. I'm sure with time and maybe it's her first shoe, things will get better, but in comparison to others, I'm not so sure at this stage. Coming up, it's decision time. The first girl going through is... It's Elimination Day, and the judges are deliberating the girls' first photo shoot. Let's have a look at Simone. I'm very impressed. I mean, it's a very, very arresting shot, and the fact that she had the courage to go profile. I agree. I really like it. I like looking her. I think she's done well. Her face is so striking and yeah. beautiful. But her body, for me, wasn't right. Is it not? No. I, I think mean, in that picture, it looks pretty good. 
Yeah, is that what straight she on. Straight on. Yeah. It's quite square and yeah. boxy, and she couldn't. She didn't have much shape in the waist, no. and but it is a great shot. It is a great shot, and she's beautiful. Stunning. So Olivia. I don't know if that's the best shot. It's disappointing. No, I no. Please don't be disappointed. I was trying to choose a frame that would work in the group shot. Well, these frames to, didn't work, did they? No, I had to do a certain angle on the arms for it to work. You've got to trust us with this. This may not be the best picture, but on the day she was mesmerising. Just, it was incredible working with her. Next up, we've got Bianca. I like the way she's standing. I think she's done well. I just think she's got that can't be bothered look. I think she had quite a nice personality on set. I mean, the hair is just terrific. It's like matted yeah. straw that's been left in the desert to dry for a year, and it's disgusting. I did say the whole thing needs shaving off because oh, it's the most horrific hair you've ever seen. I know. You've seen it. It's dreadful but hair. But her skin was beautiful. Gorgeous yeah. skin. On camera, and funny enough, she was the only one who gave off a sporty vibe yeah. in the swimwear. A lot of girls did she sexy. She looks sporty. You're about the tattoos and how clients are going to deal with that. But I like the tattoos. I do. I think it suits her. It's nice that someone who's a bit different. Should we take a look at Chloe? Mm. Yeah. It's a bit so what? I think that sums it up. I don't know what to say. That's, exactly. That's how we That's felt. Some... It wasn't amazing. It wasn't awful. No. And we couldn't, we were just like, we couldn't justify it. It's like a neutral background. It was okay. just it's weird. It's the energy. Her, she's pretty. She's got a great figure, but there's nothing there. Next up to Lula Eve. It's a bit Playboy. No. I like it. Look, no, I do as well. I think she's beautiful. I like yeah. it. I think she's got a very sexy look, and I think it needs to be toned down. I'd like to see her strip back, lose the eyebrows, get no. softer hair, a skin, a figure was fab. Yeah, everything that is totally over exaggerated. I, I totally agree. The with hair, that. the that makeup, the everything. When we the captured door. her doing that softer look, it was like, oh, she's amazing. Yeah. Right, last but not least, let's take a look at Victoria. Mm. She looks vacant. I like the hair, I like the, the body, but I don't know what the arms are doing. They seem like they're disconnected with, for the body. I was quite excited about her because she has got a unique look the porcelain skin, that yeah. golden yeah. hair. She is beautiful, and I could see her doing high-end editorial. I think she. But after a performance, but she, she didn't she, have the confidence. She's in something she's but it was a little bit the same on the catwalk. She's not really connecting. No. And we so were really she'd confused. get ready to walk, and she'd be all, and then. <laughs> and she didn't know she was doing it. I just sucked on a lemon. The walk's great. Her facial expression's a bit severe, like a mouth. But we did tell her in the shoot to. Relax them out. So good. It's it's gonna be to you play. saw the she, same she thing. She comes in and does it again. I think it's been a tough week for the girls. They've been thrown in at the deep end. First Cosmopolitan's Fash Fest, our photo shoot. I think we've got a really, really strong bunch of girls. I'm really excited, but scared at the same time because the hard part is for us to pick one. What, what are we thinking? Clearly, some of them outweigh the others. Uh, right? Yeah, there's definitely a couple that you know yeah. we could say look. There's no definite loser, there's no definite winner, there's the great ones and then everyone's like even. That's what's nice about it. It's yeah. not, it's not, you're right, there's not definites, but it's like maybe if you work on them they'll do better. Maybe yeah. these ones have maxed out already, you don't know. I mean, this is a tough competition and only the best can win. Yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> the judges have completed their deliberations and the girls are about to find out who will stay and who will be going home. I'm so nervous. Just want to know now. We're at our first elimination, and our usually very bubbly group has gone completely silent. You can feel the nervous energy in the room, partly because it's the first time we're going to see all of the judges in the same room together. I think we just got to keep a positive attitude because there's nothing we can do now. We'll be fine in the end. So. I'm my harshest critic, and I thought that I was probably, you know, going to be in the bottom three. But even the girls with really good pictures were still nervous because we don't know what the judges are really looking for or what they really want. It's really unpredictable. I'm confident because of my phone tag, my walk, I'm not so confident about. Mm. I am worried about it because of what happened at Fash Fest. And I don't want to go home. I just think it could be anyone's game really now. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm confident because. Yeah. I'm like, you don't know what they're looking for this year as well. Expect the unexpected, you know. Like everyone was so stressed about it. We were all like overthinking of what could have gone wrong, what could have gone right. Could they be going home? Hi girls. 
How was your first week? Yes. So do you want to see what the winner of Britain's Next Top Model is going to win? Yes. Take a look. A Colgate Max White campaign in Superdrug stores nationwide. A contract with leading UK agency Models One. A fashion spread in Cosmopolitan magazine. A year's supply of products and a campaign with sleek makeup. A brand campaign with Paul Edmonds and a year's worth of hair and beauty services. A summer fashion campaign for Dorothy Perkins. And a campaign with Boohoo. <laughs> well, it's been a full-on week. You have been fantastic and you've made a huge impression on all of us judges. But as you know, it's a competition and there can only be one winner. The first girl going through is... When Abby Clancy announced that everyone was going to be saved, I started crying. <laughs> in, a, in a good way, like happy tears. Happy tears. <laughs> the fact that I cried made me realise that how much I want this. Like, this is everything that I want, and I'm obviously going to fight for it. All those tears, and a lot of them are crying. Even the people that were so confident with their photos, they, even they started crying. Everyone was just crying and hugging and jumping around and being so happy about it. It was everyone was just so relieved. So girls, you all did so good this week. We felt you all deserved a second chance, but there'll be no more free passes. So don't let us down and don't let yourselves down. You are all free to go back to your apartment. Celebrate! <laughs> Next time on Britain's Next Top Model, Abby and Chloe struggle on a commercial shoot. They're talking about me over there, so if they're going to carry on, I'm just going to go over. Tallulah Eve takes things too far in the vlogging challenge. That's going to be very spicy. Uh, and there's consequences with the judges. It made me uncomfortable to look at it, and I certainly don't want to see it again. And the girls. We should all focus now on the competition. <laughs>